Hi, and welcome to the demonstration video for exercise 2.9 called Dripping Text. A font. Um, and again, just like with exercise 2.8, I'd like to pick something that is fairly and substantial rather than um, looking text. So I am going to pick uh, Franklin Gothic Heavy and I am going to type chocolate. And make this a little bigger. Okay, and I use my shift key to keep it all proportional. And now you can see it. I am going to go object and I'm going to expand both the object and the fill. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to object and I'm going to ungroup it just like I did with the metallic text. I am now going to take the letter C and using my alt key I am going to zoom in so that I can see what I'm doing. Um, first thing I'm thinking with that I'm going to go with a brown. Um, I happen to like dark chocolate. So I am now going to go to my curved and you'll see all of those little anchor points. I am going to, here's one at the bottom middle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put two more in, one on each side. I'm going to very carefully drag this out for the time being. And there we go. I have a lovely kind of drip. Back together. See that there's a bit of a drip. I'm going to go back to my selection tool, looking at my ink. I can notice these. These, are, sorry, sometimes they're kind of hard to um, work with. So I am going to take those little handles and I can drag them out. Very carefully. Back in. If I widen out, there we go. Okay, still bringing these together. So I can pretty much create any kind of shape um, or drip that I want with this. Okay, so going now to the letter H. Okay, which has been separated. I'm going to go to my curvature tools. I am going to add three anchors okay, because I want it in the middle of the H. And I am going to carefully, I am going to carefully. This so that it looks like a drip. Of course, I want to fill it. I'm going to use color swatches because I find that easier. Um, and there we go. Maybe that's a little too dark. That looks a little too black. And so if I want to manipulate it a little further, okay, I can. And bring these more to the middle so that it looks like a fine drip. Uh, so with, oops, so with my anchor tool selected, watch, I am going to add one and two and three. Now I'm going to 
down, then I'm going to add one. And now I can pull it to make it look more like a drip as I bring the two outside ones that I made together. even more of the look of a drip. If I so desire, I can add some highlights um, with these tools. So here we go with that. We know how to, again, um, plate the anchor tools. So here we go. Um, I am kind of want to follow grip, and I'm going to color switch this because I find it easier. I'm going to select the white, and when I pull out, that it looks as though there's a highlight. Um, do not follow the instructions on the PDF. Um, the instructions on the PDF are for a much earlier version of Adobe Illustrator. Please pay attention to what I've asked you to do on the PDF, but follow the steps I've used in this demo video. See you soon.